Ruchim Abon B'Shem Hashem B'Shem Yirgin Shir I'd like to welcome everyone to today's Shir on lighting Mary Shabbos in the hospital, the hotel, etc. That's great. So let's respond to your Shir call Yirgin Shir Yitari 718-851-8651 or email ist at yeshivanet.com Harav Smith Baruch Shem Dara Simchas today people have a question when they're eating in a Simcha hall, they're staying at home where they do light in Nera Shabbos the Malka Machila, the Malka where you're sleeping we have a Shaila in hotels there are different options where to light and sometimes you have a problem there's a woman and a person a man or woman in the hospital so the kids as we'll see there's a, a number of shilas that are part of tonight today's sugya and that is when a person is not home comfortably when there's different situations how do we respond what's the proper place to light near shabbos in special occasions when we're not home typically like with the family and the truth is, even if you don't go away, and Asher Yoshev is the way you live, but as we'll see, we'll touch upon the Meiji Yisaitis in this very cherished mitzvah of Ner Shabbos. So our derech always is to try to find one simple Yisait, and I think today is pretty easy to realize that. We have to clarify one thing. What is the nature, or what is the objective, what is the purpose of the mitzvah of Ner Shabbos? What is it trying to accomplish? Once you know what it's trying to accomplish, then we could determine where it should be lit. Make it a little more gishmak, a little more challenging. We have a mitzvah that seems similar to Ner Shabbos, and that's Ner Chanukah. Can we compare Ner Shabbos to Ner Chanukah across the board? So whenever you do by Chanukah, you do by Shabbos. So the embassy is that, there's no doubt about it, Ner Shabbos has an unusual importance to it. The Gemara in Shabbos, in other words, even though washing for Shabbos is a great mitzvah, but the Gemara calls that a rishus. But Ner Shabbos is a chayva, is an absolute must, according to the Bahag and the Ereim. Ner Shabbos is a mitzvah the rice, in fact. Okay, we paskin like the Rambam, beginning of Perik Hay, it's only mitzvah Rabbanon, but it's not a simple Rabbanon. Don't forget what the Gemara, say, the Gemara says it in Shulchan Aruch, passing this in Reish Samach Gimel, Siv Gimel. The person of limited funds, he only has enough money either to buy wine for Kiddush or Neir Shabbos. So you buy Neir Shabbos and make Kiddush on Pass. More so, more well known, the Gemara says it Beferish, if someone has very limited funds, he can only buy one candle. And it's Hanukkah. What has priority? So even though Ner Chanukah has the Pesume Nisa, but Ner Shabbos goes first. I mean, do we need more than what the Mishnah says in Shabbos, that when a person, that their Shabbos Choftes, I'm sorry, Shabbos Lamed Aleph Mabez, that one of the three Averis that a woman dies during childbirth because she's guilty of, is she's not careful with Ner Shabbos. Now, at Mabel Arayan, that's, that's the punishment, she's Chayiv Misa. But we like to be more positive, meet a toiv meruba, the tremendous char that one receives when you do things carefully. So we have to try to clarify, so what is the purpose of the mitzvah? And then we'll see, is it similar to Hanukkah or not? So Rashi, on that Gemara, Ne'er Shabbos Choyva, Rashi says, Kovit Shabbos hu, she'ein suda chashuva el v'mokam ar ke'en yamama. And this is something that we see in many places. When you want to show a distinction, you want to show COVID, you light an air. Not that you need the light, could be it's well lit. We make a bris, we light an air. We, you have kippah in fact, we don't even eat. We light an air, it's on the table. You go down to a chuppah, you have an air, it's enough electricity. And I think the avu and the kula, <coughs> the, the Shulchan Aruch and Kupn and Aleph Sif Tes, says that the minig is to light an air in a shul for davening, Quoting the Pasik, Bu'urim Kibdu Hashem. How do you how do you how will you honor Hakadish Baruch Hu in Shul? By lighting Nairis. So we see those words, Bu'urim Kibdu Hashem. No, a mitzvah like Ner Shab is the cornerstone of our Amuna, the Makar of our Bracha, needs a special covet. So reason number one, we're going to use the word covet. Nairis Shabbos is a form of covet Shabbos. <clears throat> Toysvis on that Gemara adds another reason. And that he says, Now this, for us, is hard to understand. We live in a very well-lit world, a well-lit society. 
and we always have good lighting, but in those days, if you didn't light Neiris, it was dark, there was no electricity. And when a person eats, and he doesn't see the food, doesn't enjoy the food. So, Tois is saying, it's really part of the mitzvah of Oynik Shabbos. So, Neiris Shabbos is out of Oynik Shabbos. In fact, the Tanchuma in Parshas Noyach, the Karosel is Shabbos Oynik, Zu Hadlok is Neir Shabbos. So Ner Shabbos is synonymous with Oynik Shabbos. Now I must also mention that it's Lav Davka Oynik during the Suda. A person has lights by the Suda, but the rest of the Shabbos it's dark. So it's not Oynik Shabbos. Living in darkness is, is a very depressing situation. In fact, at Tanchuma, the same Tanchuma, it's interesting, he says, you have to light Ner Shabbos, because if not, you sit in the Chayshich, that's the way it is in Gehenna. <laughs> Gehenim is dark, but Shabbos is lichtig. <clears throat> now why do I stress this? Because the minig was, in those days, they lit neiris in every single room. The minig is in Yom Kippur, we light neiris, even though there's no suda. Because Oynik Shabbos is, is primarily during the suda, but any time on Shabbos, when there's darkness, that is the very opposite of Oynik Shabbos. <clears throat> so we have two reasons on, in the Rishonim. Rashi says, Kovit Shabbos, and Taisa says Oynik Shabbos. But we can't lose sight of the Gemara. In fact, the Gemara is in Shabbos Chav Gimel Mabez and Shabbos Chav Heim Mabez. That the Gemara seems to say clearly the mitzvah of Oynik Shabbos is Shalom Bayis. The Gemara says that's why if you only have one candle, Erev Shabbos Chanukah, use it for Ner Shabbos, because Ner Shabbos is Adif. Now, this is something that sometimes misunderstood. Because when you hear the word Shalom Bayis, we know what it means. We have to keep you know, peace between husband and wife, which is true. But Rashi in Chav Gimel and Rashi in Chav Hamad Beis makes no mention of married couple. Rashi says, B'nei Beisoy mitztayirin leisha b'choyshech. It is very depressing and very not conducive for Sholem at home when you don't have lights. You could have two brothers living together or a single man living together. He has a chiv to lighten their Shabbos. I has no wife, but it's not peaceful. It is domestic tranquility is not accomplished when you don't see what you're going. Bang into the wall, trip on this. Now, Avada, a big part of Shalom Bayis is between husband and wife. The Rambam, the, the end of Hilchis Chanukah, when he quotes Talach in their Shabbos, has priority over their Chanukah. And he says, because you're even allowed to raise the name of Hashem to keep Shalom ben Ishle Ishtai. And the Ramah says, it's Hele Geverta, Kol HaToyra Nitna Lasoi Shalom Ba'olam. Shenem Adrachei Adachinayim. So there's no doubt about it, the main reason of, 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 of Shalom Ba'is is husband and wife. But it's not limited to that. A single person has a Chiyiv, a divorced person has a Chiyiv, it's to keep Shalom at home between yourself or with others. So let's, Chazarov, we have three good reasons to lighten our Shabbos, Kovit Shabbos, Oynik Shabbos, and Shalom Bayis. Which is the real reason? They all are. It's not a steer. Kovit is important, Shalom is important, and Oynik is important. Now to apply this to a few quick nafkeminas, the Mechaba begins, Reish Samach Gimel Siv Beis, Echad Anoshim ve'echad Noshim Chayovam Lias Bevateyam Ner Doilik Doluk B'Shabbos. Contrary to public opinion, the mitzvah of Ner Shabbos has nothing to do with women. A man has the identical chiv. Why? You know what the answer is? The answer to all of our questions today. Daik v'tishkach. So you can get it once. Zil basataima. The reasons of covered oinig and shalom bayis apply to men like women. Two boys, two bachim in, in a home. They need the covered oinig and shalom bayis. The shulchan explains in Siv Gimel, so why do women have the monopoly on this mitzvah? So push it because they're mitzuyis bevayis, they're more on the scene. The Mishtabura quotes the Magan Avram, which is really in the Tanchum and Mitzoyre Yud Zayin, that women, starting from Chava, they were kafsa oire shaloylem, when they cause Adam to his chet, so as a weekly kapara, they have to bring in light, therefore they have the monopoly on the mitzvah of Ner Shabbos. Now we'll soon use this, but don't forget, the mitzvah is a, on all genders, there's no difference, men, woman, boys or girl. 
Listen to an interesting psaac of the Magen Avram, quoting the Matam Moish, which the Bura quotes it. The Yadlik Bechol Achador. The mitzvah of Ne'er Shabbos has nothing to do with the dining room. You light in every single room. Why? Zil Basataima. Because if you have well lit dining room, but when you get to the study, there's no light, so there's no there's no Ainik Shabbos, there's no Sholem Bayis. So the reasons of the Rishonim and the Gemara apply to every room. Now we'll soon see the Ikka is the Makkah Machila, true. But the mitzvah is on every single room. Why don't we do this today? So the answer is Pashit. Because typically we have lights, or at least access to lights, in every single room. If you don't want to keep a light in the bedrooms, but you have the hall, room, the hall that has lighting. So basically you have access to light in every other room. So therefore today we focus on the dining room. In fact, when you learn halach, you'll see we have to explain how could you make a bracha. In the dining room, we already have lights. So some people keep the lights off until they have to light near Shabbos. But the, the probable answer is that even though you have lights, but Ner Shabbos does what no electricity in the world could do. There's a certain aura, there's a certain Kedusha that Ner Shabbos adds. You could have the most beautiful Suda. If there's no Ner Shabbos, there's something very, very, something very important that's missing. So Lamaisa, we still light in the dining with the Bracha, but that's it. Unless you have a, a dark room, you have to put a light on. <clears throat> we'll soon see an important Afkamina is can you make a bracha when you light electricity? Is that an air? Is it, but it's good for Shalom Bayez? We'll get to that soon. But basically, the point is that the three reasons are really, gives us guidance in all the Shailas. Now, Rabbi Yisri, let's talk Tachlas. So what is the nature of Ner Shabbos? Can we compare it to Ner Chanukah? Does it have the same parameters? So the answer, L'Chaira, in this case, might be Zilba Sataima. Because you think about the reasons, Ner Shabbos has no Shaykhs in Ner Chanukah. Ner Chanukah is Pesu Menisa. <coughs> Shabbos is covered Oyenig and Shalom Bayis. But has no Shaykhs in Ner Chanukah. Ner Chanukah can't have enough from the Neiris. So we would be tempted to say it's two separate mitzvahs. But we do find a very important similarity. And here's the big question. Since indeed, Echad Ish, the Echad Isha, men, women, and children, or Bar Mitzvah, have the Chiyav, why don't we see that me and you light in every year of Shabbos? If there's a Chiyav in every individual, just like I put on Tefillin and my son puts on Tefillin, why doesn't every man, woman, and child in the house light? So the, 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 the only answer seems to be that in this respect, we have... A, a similarity to Ner Chanukah. Because <clears throat> you could ask a better question. Ner Chanukah also is a chayvaz, a, a guf on every single person. And yet we see that only the, the Rosh Abayus lights. Okay, by Svardim, Adayoyim. Only the man lights, the father lights. Oh yeah, Ashkenazim, we're, we're from, we have the, the boys light, Ner Chanukah also. But the girls don't light, the women don't light. Ay, Echad Ish, Echad Isha. <clears throat> so this is the uniqueness of Ner Chanuk, a very, un a very different type of mitzvah. Mitzar Echad, it's a chayvas haguf on every man, woman, and child. Don't forget, girls are chayv like boys over bar 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 bas mitzvah. But there's a certain patent to Ner Chanukah. And that is, there's a chayv on every person, true, but the chayvas haguf is accomplished by the Rosh bias lighting. It's even hard to understand, but that's the way it is. It's a chiv on everybody, but unlike tefillin, one person does it for the family. Now we could assume, and that's what the Pais can say, the same klal applies to Ner Shabbos. Since Lamaisa, it's a Ner mitzvah on the bias, we don't light in the street, so even though everybody's mechuyiv, but when the mother of the house lights, she patters her husband, and all the bnei have bias. The only chilek, and this the Rav says in Kuntras Achatz, he've caught in hay, that by Ner Chanukah, we have an additional factor called Pesume Nisa, so we see boys lighting themselves. But Ner Shabbos, no pursum, there's no Pesume Nisa. So therefore we keep it that Ner Shabbos, one person lights, and is the entire family. Le Sabra, I know it's not a good marshal, but it might help. 
there's a chiv on, every, on both husband and wife equally to put up mezuzah on the door. Right? The Gemara says, Nashim Achai Mezuzah. But they don't both put up a mezuzah. One puts up as might see the other one. Now, question, and that is what's interesting is we see a, but we see a major difference. Ner Chanukah, typically the man lights and might see the wife. And Ner Shabbos is Bunk Fakert. The answer is Pashit. Ner Shabbos, we just said why, because the Chakafs are Ner Shalaylam and she's Metsuyas. But Ner Chanukah is up to Chsam Soifa, since the mitzvah was done outdoors. So, Kalkfud Abbas Melech Pnima, the, the mitzvah was given to the men, not to the women. In other words, it's the oldest truth, Al Smitacheshbin. Both are the same mitzvah, Ner Shubaysay. Ner Chanukah, the, the man does it, Ner Shabbos, the woman does it. Now, but, it's the, but I want to make something very clear, and this is important. It's not the shot that the woman, the, my wife stole the mitzvah, but okay, I steal Chanukah, she steals Ner Shabbos. Chas v'shalom. The, the Chiddush of Ner Ishu Beisai is, they both share the mitzvah equally. Just like a woman is, is Yoitz in Ner Chanukah and as if she did it, because Ishtay Kagufai, so too Ner Shabbos, I lit every Shabbos that I'm married. The wife did it, but it's like mezuzah, it will yoy all our yoytz. Now, but we see something very dramatic by Ner Chanukah, which is helpful for Ner Shabbos. The Gemara says in Shabbos Chav Gimel, Rav Zeir, the Heilig Amoy Rav Zeir, when he was a bacha, he would either light or chip in to whoever else lights, like you had to do, Mishtat Vipriti. But once I got married, it was a machaya. <clears throat> My wife lit at home, and I didn't even have to chip in. So Rab Zeira, the Heilig Amoy Rab Zeira, did not light near Chanukah. So, of course, when we discuss Hilchas Chanukah, we say that's the Chiddush of Ishtay Kagufa goes both ways. He was Yoitza as if he did it, because his wife lit for him. But Rabbi said, we see something else from this Gemara regarding their Chanukah and who had dinner Shabbos. He was not home. He didn't even come for the Suda. He went to learn. He was in a dormitory. How could he be Yoitza with his wife at Laka? So that's apparently part of the Chiddush of Ne'er Shubaysay. It works long distance. And logically, and we'll soon see, I saw, I found this in the Rav Yo, one of the Rishonim, the same principle applies to Ner Shabbos as well. If for some reason the wife is home, and the husband's not home, he's in the hospital, if she lights correctly, he is yoitz a long distance. And it's not Shabbat B'dyeved, he's an oinus, chas v'sholem, Abzeir was l'chatchil a Jew. But that's the Chiddush of Ner Ishu Beisoy. If there's a Ner in home base, the family, including children, will soon see a Yoytze with that Hadlaka. So we have, Baruch Hashem, a pretty clear picture of this mitzvah. It's a mitzvah, men and women and children. There are three good reasons, but as we just added, that we see that it's a mitzvah of Ner Ishu Beisoy by Shabbos as well. The husband and children are Yoytze, not bidiyeved or their oinus, as if they did it like the parent. <clears throat> now let's apply this a little more specifically. Let's start off with a simcha. A woman went to the hospital to have a baby, and she's beside herself. She, she, she can't like Ner Shabbos, no Ner Shabbos. She's in, a, uh, she's in the recovery room, whatever it is. Uh, she can't make Ner Shabbos. So we tell her, what's the problem? Zil basataima. Someone's home, your husband's home, the children are home. If they light, your yoitz 100%. Don't forget, for the man to light is not a problem of layilbash. It's a mitzvah on both genders. Now, look, that's klar 110%. I want to make this point over and over. Sometimes a woman, because of an oinus, can't light, and she feels that she did the worst of era. She's yoitz with the husband. So that, she's at least as good as Abzeira. Abzeira did it, and she could do it. Now, the next question comes in, a di in the opposite form. If Lamaisa, she's home with the children and he's in the hospital. So again, for, for, for him, it's basically every other, every other Shabbos. He's Yaitza with her Adlaka. And again, indeed, the Rav Yo, in the Mesech the Shabbos, the end of Kuf Tzadik Tes, he says, Ner Shabbos is like Ner Chanukah, the concept of Madlikin Olav, Olai Begav Beisoy. Like Rabbi Zeyra said it, when his wife was moitzim with Ner Shab, Ner Chanukah, there's no doubt about it. Anybody who's part of the family, husband, wife, children, if there is an adlok at home base at home, 
They're all yaitza. <clears throat> now, typically, if the man can't light, he'll accept that. He never lights. He's in the hospital, he let him get better, he's yaitza near Hanukkah. We'll soon see the issue is when the woman is in the hospital, she feels beside us, I can't light, we'll try to get to that also. But one thing I want to say, according to some Paiskim, I'm not saying all, but Rabbi Salman Zalman, in Tinyana Nunches, Simen, Nun, Simen Nunches, he says that since the, the, the Chiddush of, of, of Mary Shabbat works, he believes even if the husband, for example, is in Eretz Yisrael, in a different time zone, and she's in America, he is Yait with Harat Laka. He's talking about Ner Hanukkah, in fact. He, let's say she is, he's in uh, Eretz Yisrael, and she's in America. Who, when, if the husband lights, she's Yait with his Ad Laka. It doesn't make a chilek. He says, because the ma'isa, uh, you're not there anyhow. So what's the chilek of a different time zone? Now, we find that su su surprising. But I'll tell you an interesting question. A riddle you want to ask your family when you get home today. How is it shaykh a person was nebuch nif the Erev Hanukkah, but was yoitza the mitzvah of Ner Hanukkah? Can't be, right? But it could be, Avada. Let's say he, lives in, he lived in Eretz Yisrael. He was punked in America. He was in the hospital. Nebuch, and he passed away Erev, Erev Hanukkah. Eretz Yisrael is already seven hours ahead. So if his wife lit at home, and of course he was yoit with his wife, said, luckily, you was a So here you have a situation, he didn't live to Hanukkah, he was yoit in their Hanukkah. Okay, there's some argue, but Yash says it can't be. But the point is, I want to bring out this point, this is the very expanded use of Nerishu Beisai. When someone's home, everybody's included, perhaps even in a different time zone. Consider the next question. The Bar Hashem, the wife had a baby and the husband is there with her Friday night. What's going to be with Ner Shabbos? So, Lamaisa, if the children are home, and I say children should never be left at home for Shabbos, it's a not good Begashmias or Rochnis, but this is a extenuating circumstances. So, here we see an extension of Ner Shubesai. If the children above Bar Abbas Mitzvah light, both parents are yoitz lechatchila as good as Rabzeir did in Chanukah. That's the Nerishu Beisai. Zil basataima, as long as the house has a hadlokis ner Shabbos. And you look in the Oila Shabbos, Reish Samach Gimel Gimel, he says, Bnei Bayis can also make a bracha and pata the parents. So we see we're getting a lot of usage out of this Nerishu Beisai. Now, consider the next question. The woman had a baby, and this Shabbos she's spending in a convalescent home, especially for Kimpatur, and it's a Yiddish Shemoisid, and they, they make you, they allow you to light near Shabbos, Kedash Sukadin. So she lights with candles, and she feels like a million dollars. Now, the husband is home with, the, with his children. She wants a good vacation. The question is, do the, does the husband at home have to light or not? So the Chayr will say, well, let, let them be Yaitzu with her. But here we come to another Zil Basataima. Since the Makar of this Chiddush Ner Ishu Beisoy is, the Ner is in Beisoy, so if she's not at home base, she's not at home, how could she part of the family? And the, the embassy of Rabbi Yashiv pointed to a Leket Yoisha. It's in Hilchas Chanukah, it's, um, it's page 152, where Leket Yoisha says sometimes. I didn't lie because I was talking about Ner Hanukkah and I was saying on my wife, like a Zaira, but sometimes both the man and the woman have to light when they don't when they're not together, when they don't have a home together, when he's someplace and she's somebody else, then none of them are home. So Bayashiv said it's clear, this is Shvas Yitzchak Yugimal Aleph, it's clear from this Chumas Hadeshem that to be to, to employ Ner issue Beisoi, the Ner has to, has, has to be at a home base. So let's say she's with family and he's in Eretz Yisrael, they both have a chiv. Even though she's lighting. And presumably, Rabbi Yasha says, the same applies to Ner Shabbos as well. Rabbi Shleim Bezalman, Eli Chashleim, El Chashanak, Reish Samachal, Reish Samach Beis, says the same Yisoid, to use Ner Ishu Beisoy, at least the one that lighting has to be home. So, Oy Bazoy, if the woman is in a, a convalescent home, and she lights with a bracha kedas to kedin. She's yaitza. But the husband and children have their own chiyuv. And we'll soon see who lights when they're away. But no doubt about it, 
we see both the implications and the limitations of Merishu Beisai. It works for the entire family, even perhaps a different time zone. But it has to be lit in home base. Now, next question. I'll tell you this is important to mention because it's another expansion of our sugya. Let's say the husband was supposed to be home for Shabbos, but there was inclement weather. He was stuck in a hotel out of town someplace. Billy has Shabbos, but he'll manage. His wife is lighting at home. So does he have to light in air Shabbos? L'chair not. But here we come to an interesting question. And that is being in a hotel. You have a hotel, a motel, whatever it is. He has one room in the, in the quote, the bedroom. He can't keep a light because he has to sleep. So he has a light in the bathroom. It's Yenna feeling of Kedusha Shabbos. There's very little lighting. Zog to be in Reish Samach Gimel Siv Zayin there are really two chiyuvim in Ne'er Shabbos. The way he refers to it is a, there's a chiyuv, chayvas habayis, that's Ne'er Shabbos, but there's a chayvas haguf on every person. So typically, when the wife lights, we are yoytza, we, then husbands and children are yoytza, both chayvas habayis and chayvas haguf, because the house is well lit. But let's say he is in a dark hotel room, there's barely lighting, so he has, he's yoyitz with his wife's chayvas haguf. What about his bias? Look at his bias. It's a pitiful situation. Now, Baruch Shem, today it's hard to find a, a, an independent chayvas habayis. But this is a good example. He has one motel room. He used light in the bathroom, the sea. So if they let him, of course, I don't know if they let him light a, light a candle, light an, an air in a hotel room. But he definitely has a chayvas habayis because of his very sad situation. So he would have to light with the bracha where he is. So that's, again, another extension of Nerishu Beisai. It has to be a bias where he's staying for Shabbos that's accommodating. Now, if it's a well-lit home, or he's staying by someone else, he moves into a family, and they have a beautiful Shabbos home, so there's no chayvas habayis. He's yoytza chayvas haguf with his wife. But there is possible to have an independent chayvas habayis, even though there's no chayvah saguf. Oh, so that if you're a guest and you're eating from their food, you don't have to mishtat the either. That's only mishtat the when you have two people lighting, two, two independent people. But if you eat a part of someone else's food, so you're staying by them, it doesn't have to mishtat the prut. Now let's apply this further with many more examples. Let's talk about, a again with the simcha, the woman had a baby, it's hard to light neiris in the hospital, but she has family. So Baruch Hashem, we could say clearly based on the sugya, she is yoitza with her either husband who lights at home or children. Again, as long as there's a nearest at home, she is yoitza 100%. And a yoldis or a chaylana should be told this. You're as good as Rabzeira. If it's good for Rabzeira, good for you. Now, but I want to add a point, because I know that I was nefesh that women have to Nashim Sitkaniyas, they, they couldn't light, they feel like the world has collapsed in front of their eyes. The Magan Avram, Mishtabura, Magan Avram, Sif Katan Vav, quote, early, the minig was that the first Shabbos after Leda, they didn't light at all. Even if she was home comfortably, the husband lit. So, Pais can wonder, what's Takab Shat? Maybe because she's not clean, but she is clean. So the Maisa, the minig has been discontinued. But I saw that the Abitzina Rav, Chayel Likhes, the end of Simon Samach Vav, says a golden of art. He says, I heard a Tama Kubel, because why does she have to light more than the husband? Because kafs and neiris shall oil him. But this Shabbos, she brought in a real living neiris shall oil him. She brought a new neshama. So Zok, the, the Debetzina Rav, she doesn't have to light. And maybe the husband has priority. Now, Lamaisa, the women are not going to buy this. And they still light the first Shabbos, you have to lay them. But please give it up when necessary. When a woman stop, not stuck, Baruch Hashem, she's in the hospital, she had a baby, and it's, uh, she's unable to light in the recovery room or whatever it is, they're moving up, and they think like mamish, they're the worst in the world. Especially they're worried about the Oynish of Chas V'Sholem. Your Yoyitz 110%, you could quote me, with the, with the home. Besides that, a Yoldis Shabbos Rishayinah has the schus of the Leda. So... Just sit back and enjoy Shabbos. You know, the worst thing on Shabbos is when there's chalil atzvus, even during the week. But the whole Ne'er Shabbos is supposed to be simcha lichtekeit, and very often it's counterproductive. So we have to go with... What? Why is it known at home for 
Oh, we'll get to that. One second. But what I want to stress this is that they feel terrible, that has no mokkaim, atzvis, never brings anything uh, beneficial. So remember Abzeira and remember that she's Yaitza 100% from the home. Now, Lemaisa, we'll soon see there might be alternatives, lighting, electricity. But one thing I want to say also if you're in a situation that you're Yaitza 100% with the Bnei Habayis, so you want to try to do this, maybe I'm Yaitza. Now, okay, you know, im loyoyo lo yazik. But sometimes it is mazik, you know why? Because she has a mind not to be yaitzu with the family. I'm going to do this questionable hadlaka, make a bracha which is suffolk of the You might be left with nothing. Where's the cheshvim? Emotions have to be controlled. You know, a bal nefesh is someone that's a control of his neshama. So if you have a vadi hadlaka at home, stick with that. You want to lie it in the hospital, uh, this, and hope that it's for hope for the best? No. But don't make a bracha if it's a suffix, and don't exclude your family's hadlaka, or else you're left with nothing. So the main point I'm trying to bring out is when there's a family, whether it's the husband or the children, lighting at home, she's yaitza 100%. He and she are yaitza 100%. Now, if for whatever reason she's in the hospital alone and the husband or children are not there with her, so the question is who lights at home when you have the father, boys, and girl over bar barabas mitzvah? So there's no doubt about it that in Svara, the father lights because he's a, he has the equal, equal chiv. The reason that the women light because the, the oil abayis on them, on the woman, now it goes to the husband. So no doubt about it that the father is still older and smarter than his children, even in America. So the father goes first. I saw Moshe says it, the Be'er Moshe, Ches HaMazayin, Shemir Shabbos. But the next question is, if we just had this Nebuchadnezzar Yeshiva, a woman passed away young, could be if the father, who's an almond, really he should light every single Arab Shabbos. If he wants to stell avec his oldest daughter, and she's, she's assuming the responsibilities and give her a, a certain distinction, a certain maimid, and he wants her to light instead of the mother, no, that makes sense. I'm not saying the father's mechoyiv. Plus, technically, the father has every, every year of Shabbos. He, if he lights, he has to make a tanai. He's not in Makabal Shabbos with the Hadloka, so he could have a mincha and he could drive to Shul. If the oldest daughter lights, so she could do it, Kedasu Kedim. So that's a shikul that the father has to take if he wants to, you know, Shtelavek his daughter as the new Ikeris Habayis. That's understandable. But one thing I saw, Abshlam Bezalman, Ishmir Shabbos, and Rabbi Yashiv and Ashri Ish both say, if the father, the husband, is with the mother, the wife, it's the boys and girls at home, no doubt about it, the girls have priority. Because the both reasons now fall on the girls versus the boys. <clears throat> now, what I should mention also, very often when the parents are in the hospital, so a married sibling moves into the house. So the Ber Moshe and that same tshuva says, it's wrong, even though they could rely on the married sister's lighting, and they're not going to light, why give up a mitzvah? Let the father of his home, or someone of the, of the family, light in the dining room, and at the same time, we pass in, you could also make another bracha when a different couple lights. So basically, it, the order is the father, and then the girls over the boys, but even if there's another couple there, both should light with the bracha. This explains, I hope it never happened, Mr. Burra says it in Reish Samach Bey, Sif Kot Nyeral, of quoting Chayodam, if it's getting late and the woman is oiske schlepped a bit, so he should not wait for the light, let, him, let the husband go and light the neighbors. Now, I'm not advising that for Shalom Bayis today, they would sue us, but Mr. Burra says this, he said, forget about if she'll light Chalila on Shabbos itself, so you have no mitzvah. Now, Baruch Hashem, the women are Azrizes. But if it comes to that, it's not a Chiddush. Because Echad Ish Vechad Isha. I don't want to be stuck with a Chil of Shabbos at Laka. But before you do that, make sure that it's Mamish, the last second Mamish. Wife is in the hospital, and the husband is sleeping over. I mean, sleeping over in a chair or in the lounge. So I'm, I'm happy I found the Chayvas Hador, my uncle Abloy, in Ha'or Chaf. He says that even though there's no bias, but if, he, if he's with her and eating with her, he's yoitze, his chayvas haguf and chayvas habayis with her. So whatever she likes, we'll soon see if she gives electricity, he would be included in that mitzvah. Even if he has an apartment someplace, a big chayim apartment, pashtis, if he's eating with her, he's yoitze with her at luck. Now, unless he has a chayvas habayis in his dark apartment, that you have to see, but typically today, 
they're pretty much well lit. But the point is that even though we're not home base, but if they're both eating together in the hospital room or in the lounge, then they're both included in Harad Lak. <clears throat> the husband is in the hospital and she's home. So again, she, he is sure, sure, certainly pata like Abzair was on Hanukkah. Now, typically it's very relieving because how's he going to find there a Shabbos? He doesn't know what to do even. So typically the men that are in the hospital or away don't find the importance to light themselves. Now, but basically the hospital is well lit. Sometimes it's too well lit. You can't sleep at night. It's like, you know, Laila Kiyayim in a hospital. So we could assume the, light, the, the hospital is not a chayvas habayis on the husband, he's yaitzi with the family, and keep with that, and everybody's fine. Now, if the child lights, child, I mean, over by mitzvah at home, and both husband and wife, both parents are in the hospital, bo they're both yaitzi with the children at Laka. And again, but to find kunsin to light in the hospital, misafik, don't exclude yourself from the children at Laka, Keep that just in case, of course, you need it. Now, when I say someone is lighting, the Aleph of Hadlokas Neiris, the Mechabah says it in Sif Tes, you have to have a no on Shabbos. It's not just a ceremony that you do, which it is, but it's also a covered and an anointing Shabbos. So there has to be a no on Shabbos. So basically, when a person lights at home, he has a no the whole Shabbos. But let's say a situation that a person is going to the hospital, they want to light at home and leave right away. Make a bracha, make a tanai, a mama kabul shabbos. But you missed the point. If no one's home to enjoy the neiris, it's a bracha vatola. So you have to realize that that's important. Another question I'd like to mention, which unfortunately happens, both husband and wife are in the hospital and they have seicha not to leave children alone in the house. So they send the children to relatives. So the children, like you mentioned earlier, they don't have to be started by the by the Zaydu or by the Tanto or the, or the, the uncle, because they're part of an Abayis. They're eating there, they're one kitchen, and they're Yoitza. But that leaves the couple in the hospital without a mitzvah. Because the children being Yoitza with the Zaydu doesn't part to the parents. It's not home base. So then the, the parents have to find an Eitzah. We'll soon see if there's an, what the Eitzah or electricity. But let's say the Rav says, based on your situation, there's no Eitzah. You can't light in the hospital. They don't let Neiris. And there's no candle available. And there's no uh, like electric available. So if it comes to it, there's no Eitzah. Let me tell you clearly. Oynis Rachmona Patri. There's a concept in Mishnah of Choylu Masham Sheim, a potter from which they can't do. You know, people feel so bad for no reason. If you can't do it, you're an Oynis. I, the Knas. Knas is if you're Mechuyiv and can't do it. If the Rav says you can't lie to the hospital and the children are by the grandparents, so you're an Oynis. There's no Knas if there's no Chiv. Now, of course, a person should call the Rav in advance of Shabbos, not a minute and a half before the Zman, because you can't get the Yishev Adas. When possible, clarify if the Rav says no Eitzah, so Chaylem Sham Sheyim Apotu. I'm not saying it's always like that, but we've heard about that and people feel terrible the whole Shabbos. That's not the Ratzon Hashem. To be, to be depressed on Shabbos is not what Ne'er Shabbos is supposed to engender. A difficult question is when a woman is pushed physically sick and unable to light the Ne'eris. So then again, we go back to the original Chiyav, B'nei Habayis, Patiz, her as well. Now, if Lamaisa she wants, that we find in the Paiskim, she can make a shliach to light for her in the hospital. Let's say, that, let's assume they let for some reason. So the, the Allah is, you can make a shliach. Either the husband, he can really light the light nurse himself, or a shliach, a, a Yiddish nurse. Now, we find other mitzvahs, the shliach helps. Bidikas chametz. Mezuzah, is a primary example. But here the Mishnah points out in Reish Samachal, Sif Kotn Chafalif, he says that when you have a Shliach doing it, who lights? The Shliach. And that's a little depressing. The woman has a mitzvah, she can't, you, can't, you can't make the bracha. But who makes the bracha? I'm sorry, the, the, the Shliach. So it's a little depressing. She can't make the bracha and she can't light. But that is Shluch Shladim Kamoisa. I saw the 
the Rav Shlaim Bekluge in Elf Chashleima, he says it. It's Simon Kufiyud Beis emphatically. Even if she doesn't like, but if Shliach Shlaim Kamoisai, as if she did it, and there's, and and as if she relit the Neir Shal Oilam, and all the school is for Neir Shabbos apply to her as well. Now, if Lamaisa she can't be there b'shas hadlaka. Let's say punk she was taken for treatment or whatever it is, and the shliach wants to light. It's this man, but uh, the mishleach not there. So here we find regarding ner chanuk and tafresh ayin hey see cut and test. If the if the if the mishleach is not by that hadlaka, then then the shliach can make a bracha. I'm doing it for you when you're there. Rabbi Yashiv and Shmuel Yitzchak Peri Gud. Ois Aleph says, Hu Adin regarding their Shabbos. In other words, Shluchim and Waisi works. But if she can't be the Bishas Maisa, then the Bracha can't be said. Now, why do I say this? Because sometimes a couple Arab Shabbos are stuck in traffic and they call up a friend, Oh, please light in my house, I'm making you a Shliach. Well, better be early and don't be stuck in traffic. But the Shliach can't light for them if they're not home. What, what they should do is the Shliach should light in their own house and make a bracha and have a mind they're going to do malach again go to the Mishaleach's house use the bracha and light for them but, but what happens and this is important if the worst happened they're stuck in traffic and Rahman al-Sam, they got stuck they jumped out of the car a minute before this man and they have to walk home they come home 20 minutes after Shkia there's no nearest in the house so here we see a fundamental Yisoid in Ner Shabbos versus Ner Chanukah and the Rav also can you know, pass them like this. If it's still Bain Hashmashais, call a guy and have the guy light for them. I know that sounds very unusual, you know, have the guy's gonna use make with the hands, but as I state in the Magan Ram and Rav. And the Magan Ram and Rav go to the extent that the that the Isha could make a brach on the guy Shadlok. Now the Mishtabrua is Matmiya and Sifkot and Khafalif and quotes many, many Paiskim. The fact that the guy lights is pushing it. But to have the Isha light on a non maisa mitzvah, where do we have such a thing? A guy is part of a mitzvah. So Mr. Burr says that they should have the guy light, but no brach. Now the plea is you have a guy light, ner shahara. Which mitzvah can a guy do? So here we come to a fundamental yesoid, ner shabbis, is il like we said. Since the objectives are accomplished, even if a guy lights, you have Shalom Bayes, you have covered Shabbos, you have Ainik Shabbos. So, who said there's anything wrong if a guy lights? So, the question is to what extent? The Rab and the Magan Avram says even that the, guy, the Yid can make a bracha on the Goy Shad Loka. We don't make a bracha. But here we see a very fundamental difference between their Chanukah and their Shabbos. Because their Chanukah is Kemar of Gemara in Shabbos Chav Gimel. Ner Chanukah, only a cherish shayt of a cotton cannot light Ner Chanukah for someone else. And come out all the Paiskim say, except for the Chiddush of the, of the Bajan Rav, that a guy that lights Ner Chanukah is nothing. It's not the Hanof from Ner Chanukah, you can't have enough from Ner Chanukah. It's the Maisat Laka. So Ner Chanukah, that it's that Laka, a guy is functionless, it's useless. But Ner Shabbat Zilbas Taima, all three reasons are accomplished if a guy lights. So this is very comforting. If for some reason the, a woman is stuck and she only has a guy she ate, could he ask the guy she ate to light? And definitely, you know, it's in the midst of the question is brach or not. If the guy, if, if the yid has a shliach, then that's a yiddish shliach, a vada that's a 100% ma'isa mitzvah with the kayach of the mishaleach working for the, the kayach of the shliach working for the mishaleach. Next group of questions is the hotel issue, which is, I wish it would be easier than it is. Because basically, let's talk about a couple that go away for Shabbos, and again, never leave children at home, but let's say they have to, whatever the reason is. So, the children lie at home. The truth is, that would be the, the easiest alternative. That parents at a hotel, a yaitu with the children, it's usually the same time zone, and it's in the home base, what's wrong? The children are there for Shabbos. However, a woman will never hear such a thing. She will never go to the hotel again if that happens. So she has to light again. Yeah. Question is, where are you going to light? So in the rooms, they say, it's absolutely forbidden. And I found Poiskim, and the Shabbos, and the Archa Shabbos say, if they say not to, and the person does it anyhow, so it's a mitzvah of a veira, 
and it's not a mitzvah, and it's the bracha vatola. Now, I'm not saying that. They say that. And bechlal, don't forget, you know, we have to follow rules. You know, I'm always the spoiled. Ramban and Parshas by Yeshiv wonders that when Eish Pativa advanced Yosef, so he ran away and he left the jacket behind. Frank them out, why did he yank out his jacket? He was stronger than her. So he said he had respect for authority. She was his mistress, Dr. Ramban. You don't just yank something out of your mistress's hand. I mean, that's a madrega. But if they say don't, and they, they have good reason to say don't because there could be a fire, and if the, fire, the hotel, Khalila, something happens, who knows what's going to be? So I don't, I don't want to get into that now, but I was once in a hotel where someone lit, and the smoke alarm started to ring, and the law is you can't close it until every last room was checked. It was like two hours ringing, fire, fire, leave at once, for two hours. The firemen came in with the Shemayin Begadim, don't ask, it was like Yehudim. You know, walking around like it's Shabbos Dik, and they come and checking every room. It was an awesome Chil Hashem, I'm going to tell you. So it shouldn't happen, and it can't happen. But there's a no-win situation, you know, the, the, the owners of hotels are Erlachi, they're not so in Yisrael, I have to tell you. But what can you do? They have 100, 300, 500 guests lighting in their rooms? I mean, inevitably some tourists. So they used to put all the neighbors in the back room, and the last person finishes, you know, light it, lock the door, and throw away the key, which is very safe, but it's not very, uh, you know, Shabbos appropriate. If you light and leave the, the place, you can't get into it, we having a no. So that I saw again, the Ber Moshe, the Shmir Shabbos, and all the places say, that's the Baruch Levatol. But Baruch Hashem, that has been discontinued. So, but what's the Eitzah? If you can't light in the room, you can't light in a safe place. So to light on each table would be great, but it's, again, it's not safe. So they light it on a table, a big table, and you know, we have to know where your neighbors are. It's like parking in a big parking lot, where they park my car. You know, 150 or 300 cars. So it's really a difficult situation. It's a, pretty much a no-win situation. But they rely on the women lighting on a, a, a big table, and they say that tefillahs and that is they have a no. Let's hope for the best that that would be a viable option. But, Okay, we're going to get to electricity soon. We're talking about lighting neighbors. So again, what, what I would suggest is, a person that knows he has children at home lighting, Kedasa Gudin, have mind to be Yitzu with that. But the wife will never hear not to light at all. Light again in the hotel. I would maybe suggest even make, make, not make a bracha if it's a questionable situation. Be Yitzu Ikedadin at home, which is 100% good for Abzeira, and all agree. And you want to light again without a bracha in the hotel, fine. If you think the hotel is l'chatchila, so you can make a bracha also. But again, don't give up a vaday for a suffolk. I'm not saying chalil in the hotel, you're not yoytza. I'm saying very clear now again. If it's a suffolk, don't give up a vaday home for a suffolk. If it's a vaday in the hotel, gesundheit, and be saimich on that. But another point I wanted to mention is sometimes a person has to leave Erev Shabbos emergency, the last minute they have to run and, but they have enough presence of mind that, that, that maybe we could lighten their Shabbos first, it's not a I'm life and death but it's an emergency so the cloud is after plug you'll add a light, before plug you can't light, so the question is, who's going to benefit from that, if it's after plug who's going to benefit from those neighbors so if the husband hopes to return home, and it's a vad, he'll return home, so he can enjoy the neighbors if it's a suffix then you can't light with a bracha misafik. He might be delayed. And my lady could slap out hours. So then you could light after plag without a bracha. Hopefully he gets home. If not, you, can't, you didn't lose much. If the children are staying home, again, not advisable, but the children are staying home, then she could light after plag, and the children will have benefit. It's probably better that the children light bizman, and this way, the, the hadlock is without a tanai, but if she feels she wants light, especially if she wants chusim, after plag is good with the bracha, tanai has to be made, but make sure that we have a no. Of course, when you get to the hospital, that's not the place to light. Don't start an agonizing and, and aggravating the hospital staff. Where could I light? It's not a place to, you know, to light near Shabbos, an emergency room, an waiting room. I and mean, these things happen, and it really turns out you know, pretty you know, messy when people make a chil Hashem. So basically, if there's someone home, they could light, and might see both parents, l'chatchila gomor, because of ner ish ubeisa, like we explained. I once cleared, if, said, if, if let's say the isha lights after plag, and no one's home, but then she asks a neighbor 
to come to my house. I'm making a mini Shalom Zacha. You know, those, you know, no real Shalom Zacha, but I want you to come. I prepared a lot of good food. Come with your husband, eat, and enjoy. Is that Hanoah of someone else in my area? It's not my family. So I, I only found the Piskei Tshuvas in, in Reish Samar Gimel, Sif Sif Chav Ches, who assumed that it works. So if he says it, I could, I could trust him. Even though it's not a family member who's chayiv in it, but if it's an heir that brings Hanna, that'll be okay. Now, the old question of sleeping at home and the Suda being in a Simcha hall, the Chayr is Pashat, because the Ramah in Reish Samach Gimel Yud says, Beferish, that the Ikka of Ner Shabbos is Maka Machila. And if they ask me why, the answer, like every other question today, is Zil Basataima. All the reasons apply to Maka Machila versus Maka Shaina. And in, in Sif Tes, the Shulchan Aruch again says Beferish, that if you light, not Maka Machila, and there's no Hana, you can't be Yoytza. So we have Ramah in Sif Yod, the Machab in Sif Tes, that the Ikka of the two places, Machila versus Shaina, is Maka Machila. That's fine. But here comes the problem. Because Lamaisa, if you're going to be in a Simcha Hall, and it's not Lechatchila, either it's a big table, like a hotel, and you don't know where your neighbors are, and the Hano is uh, questionable, so then we'll rely on lighting at home. Because the Mishtabura in Sif Kot Memhe quotes the Oila Shabbos, one of the earliest Achreinim, that Hano is, is Avada primarily Shas Achila. But Lavdafka, any Hano that one has at home, he says, is enough to make a bracha. And as ideally, it's Mokam Achila. But if the Mokam Achila is questionable, and again, I'm not, I'm not saying about any particular situation, but if you feel in a Simcha hall that there's a, uh, tens or hundreds of families lighting and it's in a side room, it's not, under, not in the dining room, and you, know, you have to have an imagination to feel you're having a no, so stay at home, light at home, make a brach at home, make sure you have a no either before the Suda, you could stay home, say Tchin is learned, whatever, or afterwards, if you come home in time enough, and then you yoitz lechatchila. So that's definitely a better choice. Whenever you have a situation like this, that would be the better choice. And last but not least is the, probably the most challenging, and that is, let's say you're stuck in a, a situation that you have no Eitzah, to light Neiris, literally. Could be a hospital, hotel, Bekitza, you can't light fire. Is it an Eitzah to use electricity? electric lights, electric lamps, because Chaylam has a wonderful option, a, a battery-operated electric manure, we'll call it. So this really could be a share for itself, but I think we could do it in the last few minutes. And the answer is, Zil Because if you think of all the three reasons for Lakas Ner Shabbos, they are satisfied with electric lights. It gives Shalom bias. you see what you're eating, you see where you're going, and presumably even covered, if especially if you light a special electric menorah, that brings uh, a certain covered. The biggest raya is many shuls today don't have old-fashioned candles by them, Ahmed. They have electric lamps. Uh, the assumption is if it's lit, the covered Shabbos would be enough. Now, I'm not saying, you know, Avad is a mile in, in lighting Neiris, but it's done. So basically, if we go with the Zil Basataima, it should be fine. In fact, there's an incredible chiddush of one of the Rishayinim. Now, Moshev Zekeinim is not just a nursing home, which it is, but one of the Rishayinim, Das Zekeinim, is also Moshev Zekeinim, in the new Oiz that they printed in the back of the Chamashim. In Parshas Em, Chav Dalet Beis, he assumes for a Dova Pashit, if someone has an Evan Toiva, he has a brilliant gem that illuminates the darkness, he's Yoytz of Ner Shabbos with that. That's, that's even less than electricity. There's no Eish at all. But basically, there is one school of thought that any, that any, any light-giving uh, situation, any electricity, incandescent, fluorescent, LED, makes no chilek. As long as you have light, zil time. But here's the beauty of it. Ner Chanukah, almost all pais can say, you're not yet with electricity. Why? Zil time. There it's to simulate the nest in Beis Hamikdash. Based on mix, they didn't have electricity. So, near Hanukkah, we need Eish. Near Shabbos, we need light. So, there's one school of thought in Gedalia Paiskim that you could light with a bracha on any type of light giving uh, situation. 
However, there are those that mafakbik and they say, but one second, if the brach is lahadlik ner, so avada and avada, lighting electricity is a mice adlok, it's not a grum, it's a mice be a dayan. But where's the ner? So if you have an old fashioned incandescent bulb that there is a glowing metal, or today they have certain types of lights, it's halogen lights or krypton lights, that there is a filament that's really illuminated by electricity. So there is a, there is a halachic ash on Shabbos, you put that on, chas v'shalom, it's oiv aloi svar ash b'chol ma'ish v'seyem. So you can make a brach on that. But let's say it's, in, it's fluorescent or typically LED lights, there's no ash whatsoever. Now you don't have to have a college degree to know what I have. You look, you could see. You know, typically lights and shoes today are almost always LED, but you still could find these, uh, again, the halogen lights or, or, or something similar to that that has a filament. So they would make the chilek is, if you have a nair, which has some, at least a uh, similarity to ash. Now the MS is, there are places that hold every light is good. I what about the word nair? So raise that pella. I'm sure you'll find more rays, but what I found is in Parshtit Sava, Lahalo is ner tamid. Their ner means fire. In Tilim, ner l'ragid varech or l'nesivasi, ner l'ragid does not mean fire. Ner means light. In Mesech the Shabbos, Chav Tesla Medbeis, Rashi on the word ner, Rashi says kroizel. So you look at the Metargum, that the Targum laz. Kroizel is a lamp. He brings places in Rashi, other places in Shas. Ner has three taichin. Of course, conventionally, ner means fire in the Torah. In Tilim, it means light. And sometimes ner means the receptacle that holds the, the candle. So this, at least I could explain the different shittas. Some hold it has to be light. It doesn't have to be any semblance to ash. So any light is good. There's a middle shita that holds it has to be at least some type of similarity to ash. And that is only achieved when you have a, again, a filament type of lighting. Rabbi Shalman in Shemir Shabbos, Mem Gimel, Chav Beis, has a whole different problem. And he says in order to be yitzah anything, Chanukah or even Shabbos, there has to be enough oil to burn, the Jiravano. A typical electric lamp or light, there's zero, there's zero oil there. I, electricity could go as long as you keep it on, but it's constantly being generated. So his problem is, there's not an oil source or something that will keep go, burning there, b'shas the bracha. So you're making a bracha on zero potential. So he says, if you have a battery-operated uh, lamp or flashlight even, that the power is there and it has incandescent bulb, that's fine. But electricity, that there's no source of H that's there now, that's, that has to be generated every probably 100 times per, per minute, there's no ash because there's no oil potential. So it's really hard to give a, a maskana, but I think I can say the following, that basically, if a person could design, and Taka, the wonderful work of the Big Chayim, they have this available, a, a electric menorah, I'll call it menorah, that is battery operated, is recharged every time before Shabbos, and it has a filament. So that, we're quite comfortable to say that the Isha can make a bracha. I can't say l'chal ashitis, because at the end of the day, it's not fire. But at least that, we're comfortable to make a bracha on, because you have many shitas that that's good. Rabbi Yashiv in Shavos Yitzchak, and Rabbi Aaron is quoted in Hilcha Shabbos, the Shabbos, that they held even on electricity without, pashtas without a filament. The ikka is light. So, what I would suggest, what the, the Beis Yosef writes this in, in Tafrei Sadik, and his Lashes Kedai, he quotes Iran, even in Iske Oilam, you do things and you try to avoid any doubts, any risk. We don't take risks in business. We do things that are risk-free. Kolshkein, in what he calls in, in Torah and Mitzvahs, Shem Kivshayne Shel Oilam, how do you leave the Derech HaShadoruch Uboi Rabbeinu HaKadoshim and put yourself in Sveikas. So what I would think is, when a person has a situation like this, where he has to light electricity, if there's someone at home lighting, whether it's the husband, the spouse, or a child, stick with that, and be yitzu with that. The woman should light the, the electric lamp, 
without a bracha. If it's battery operated and you have a filament and she'll fill bad not making a bracha, you make a bracha and she'll be right with that. But to light the put on the, the light in the room, which almost always is fluorescent is LED, and make a bracha on that, you're getting involved with suffix brachas lahak. Why leave what you have at home, which is a perfect halaka yaitzachatchila, and put yourself in a suffix? So if the Ishfield, but I can't do it, say, okay, what we're gonna do is you put on the light, the cover Chabis, you'll say your tchin is there, but don't make a bracha. Feel good that you have lights at home. The ikka is to realize that we have a Torah that gives us the or the lichtigai of the Torah. Do what's right. I'm going to talk to you all. Shame, here can share tell like a big asher character of Smith for today's shir. There's some after Kaddish or Smith to say a Sikkim of the Shir to have the great source of sponsoring a Shir called Irgen Shir Tyra 718 851 8651 or email IST at yeshivanet.com. But now you have a Kashem, I'll say, 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 Quickly before this man, let's have the sikkim <laughs> on the halakha snares. We just let's have what we learned today, Bez Hashem. We see a chi of the Rabbanon, a very special mitzvah of Ner Shabbos. There are three reasons, Kovid, Oinig, and Shalom Bayis. In some ways, it's similar to Ner Hanukkah. In some ways, it's very different. But basically, the chi is on men, women, and child. That's for sure. A chi haguf, like tefillin and mezuzah. But there's also a clause that Ner Shubesai, if someone lights at home base, at home, the whole family, men, women, and children, ayoyitz lechatchila, kilo, they did it. The, the chiv should be in all rooms, but today that we have lights in all rooms, the main chiv is the makam achila in the dining room. Even if a person is not home, but if his family is lighting at home, it works long distance and perhaps even in a different time zone. When a person is in a person in a hospital, so whether husband or wife or children, they yoitzel chatchila with the hadlaka at home. If you could manage to get a hadlaka, that's kosher. At a hospital, fine. But basically, the, the point has to be that if there's someone lighting at home, all the family is yoitzim. Children could pater, I mean children over bar mitzvah, could pater both parents if need be. If the wife's staying someplace else, she's staying in a convalescent home, and she lights l'chatchila there, but she doesn't pater anybody because she's not home base. It could be that even if a person's yoitzim l'chayvas haguf with his family at home, but if he's in a dark place, which today is pretty rare, but if he's in a dark place, he has a chayvas, an independent chayvas habayis, that's enough taka to even make a bracha. After later, if she misses that lakas neiris, she should told, told that she doesn't have to light it, the family lit, and also the first Shabbos, the minig was that they didn't light it all. Bechlau, when a person feels bad about Ner Shabbos, when there's no fault of their own, it's, it's really misplaced emotion, that has to have to be told that the Rasa Hashem was that just like the way it was. The father, if the, the woman's away, or let's say an almond with his children, the father goes before the daughters, and if the father wants to delegate the daughter, fine, daughters go before sons. A married couple moving in does not, not is not that locker for the, for the parents, the parents light, and the, the, the young couple lights as well. A wife that lights in the hospital, and the husband is spending Shabbos around somewhere, he's yaitz with her, Every case that you light, there must be hano. You can't just light and run. That might be brachal batola. If a person can't light, they're running to the hospital, they're potter. There's no knas chalila because they're not chayiv. A shliach could light for someone if the mashaleach is there and the shliach makes the bracha. If someone's stuck in traffic or whatever, they came home after this man, before vade laila, ben ashmashes, 
the minute the minig is they call a goy to light the neiros, and they're presumably yoitzu with that as far as the knas is concerned. But the no, a no bracha is said. A hotel, do it right. I'm leaving that pretty you know clear. Don't give up that luck in the house for a suffolk in the hotel. If you have a yoitz in the hotel. Bevadai, then you can make a bracha in the Avadai. To light in the room against the law is probably leaving us with no bracha and perhaps the bracha of Atala. There must be a Hanab, a Makam Achila, an Erev Shabbos emergency is a problem with that. In a Simcha hall, decide if you have a Chatchil in the Simcha hall, if not, light at home and have a no at home. The basic cloud is Makam Achila, but if the Makam, if the makam Achila is questionable, then stay at home. And with electricity, with a filament and a battery operated uh, flashlight or a menorah, you can make a brach on it, otherwise better avoid the brach. <laughs>